During our Farm Basics time today, we'll talk about something that many farmers across the country use to help the soil pH on their farms and even the calcium levels in their operations, that is lime. All right, when uh, you hear from a soils lab, you need to be putting lime on your farm, or you hear from your agronomist, you need to put lime on. If you've never put lime on your farm, and you say, wait a minute, Grandpa never put lime on, my dad never put lime on, why do I need to put lime on? I don't know if that's a good thing. Don't be scared about lime. Lime is not something that you really need to worry about. What we're talking about is basically calcium carbonate. And so the main portion of lime is calcium and that's something your crop needs a lot of. And we really take calcium for granted. When we look at our fertility programs, we're looking at nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, maybe even micronutrients are getting some of the attention right now. But calcium is one of those nutrients that has been taken for granted. We've got a lot of calcium in most soils and you think, well, there's lots of calcium out there, but is that calcium available? That's one of the things that you're going to gain from lime. The other thing is you could correct an acid pH. Okay, so let's talk first about human health. If you've ever taken an antacid, like Tums, for example, if when you've you look had on Brian's the label, cooking, that's what you're yeah. saying. If you've had Brian's cooking, <laughs> you've probably had to take an antacid. All right, so <laughs> when you look at Tums, you look at the label, what is in Tums? It's calcium carbonate. It's the exact same thing that we're putting on our soil. Calcium carbonate carbonate, what that will do is that will react with a low pH soil to correct the acidity in the soil. So the reason why the soil is acid is it has excess hydrogen. When you add calcium carbonate, the result is you're going to end up with more calcium in the soil, you're going to end up with water and carbon dioxide. That's the chemical equation or the resulting chemical reaction that happens. And two of those three things are food for the plants and the other one is water. So it's exactly what your plants need. And when you think about that, if you run the, the chemistry of what actually happens in your soil, all three reactions are good for your plant. And so it's not a big surprise that putting lime on the soil is going to be something that helps you. Now, the other side of this, and this one is more of a soil amendment side, we look at, all right, if I'm short of calcium and I need more available calcium, and my, my soil test shows my base saturation, which is a measurement of what percentage of uh, the soil is held with calcium. If that's really low, you could put a bunch of lime out even in a high pH situation. Now, I realize we just said, well, wait a second, you use it when our soil is low pH or acid. You can use it to correct in a high soil pH a, a low amount of calcium that's out in the soil. So you can fix the available calcium levels by putting lime on in that situation too. The other thing with lime, there are many different sources that you can get. There's a product called Pell Lime that's very readily available, but there's also water treatment lime that we use on our farm, for example, that in some cases you can get for a very low cost and may be very good quality lime. What a farmer is looking for in lime is basically the fineness. So in other words, how small those particles are, the smaller the particles, the quicker that conversion happens of soil pH getting raised up. So the big thing we're looking for here, I don't care if we're talking farm ground, we're talking a garden, anything, we'd like to have that soil pH typically around neutral. Neutral is seven, so usually we're shooting for 6.3 to 6.8, something like that. And if the soil pH is very low, let's say it's four or five or even five and a half, you wanna put lime on there to raise the soil pH and the other thing is you want to take a look at your base saturation calcium percentage. We want that at least 65%. If it's less than 65%, quite commonly, we're throwing lime out there to add calcium. So two different things that you might consider calcium for on your ground. Well, neutralizing that soil pH is a big thing for crop growth. It could also help you fight off weeds. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 